Hi, it's Linda Fox. I'm senior reporter with Focusoir, and I'm with Sachin Narod of Zeniap. Welcome to the studio, Sachin. Thank you, Linda. So let's start with this. You describe yourself, you describe Zeni as a B2B operating system. Just describe what that is for us in layman's terms. So uh, if you look at the travel industry, the way it was built in the early days, it was built as and when needed, piece by piece approach. And uh, when I say B2B operating system for travel, that means where we have built the entire system ground up. Um, in today's world, everybody, supplier has their own technology, payments provider have their own technology, travel agents have their own set of needs, OTAs have their own set of needs. So they are all dispersed and they're talking to each other through a centralized system. So there is no unique operating system which is taking care of all the needs of the market and it's not scalable. So what Zeni did is we identified the key players, key suppliers, inventory providers, and we understood this is the this is how the buy and sell process should work in a, any given operating system. And let's democratize that by allowing people to launch their online travel agency within minutes. That's what we do. Now, one of the challenges of the travel industry has always been integration. You know, people, travel companies complain about not being able to integrate content. You know, it takes months and months and months sometimes. So, presumably you're only as good as, you know, the partners that you're trying to get inventory from. Yeah, so the way you solve the problem, always, in software is you build your house better and then you go and chase that pipeline and ask them to build it the way you want it. You can fix all of the problem at the same time. Integrations are major pain points. Now imagine if uh, lindatravel.com and Linda wants to integrate all this inventory, it's a huge challenge. And then huge challenge on the partners because they have to serve you. What Zeni did is we have already integrated all of those partners in a unique way so that Linda just has to click on Zeni and lindatravel.com would be live with the inventory you need. Uh, hotel, flights, car rentals, private jets, yachts, villa, crews. So yes, it's a challenge, but um, the way we build the system is very scalable and efficient. You know. Okay, and now what, what is, is now the best time to launch Zeni? Never waste a crisis. Um, 2020 was really brutal for pretty much all the startup industry, travel industry, and people thought it's an end. It's not going to come back again the way it was before. Uh, I went, I took the reverse train, I went and talked to every single constituent of travel industry, and I looked at it, they're like, there's so many pain points and nobody is paying attention to. If they are resolved, we could serve more efficiently. I see the industry is going to have the best three to five years in, in entire century. Travel will come back with vengeance and we are already seeing the signs of it. Uh, I think we are perfectly right. Our product is ready. Uh, we could capture a lot of market. Also, we could solve a lot of pain points for the industry players mm -hmm. and at multiple level. Now, there are people in travel who would say that, you know, the travel agency market is diminishing. So, you know, is, is, is that? Yeah, it's actually not true. It's increasing or either they're getting consolidated, uh, getting consolidated under the consortia. Um, there is a huge demand. If you look at the net score, net promoter score of largest OTA, they're not serving their customers. Mm -hmm. Airlines are not serving their customers either. So the major challenge for for travel agents to be able to integrate those um, sellable inventory and sell it to their serve to their customer better. So these tools are not there. And I think the moment you will see um, what Zeni has built, they will be able to come back. They'll be able to sell better. They'll be able to scale their business. Uh, it's no more a side gig. It will become the main business mm -hmm. where they can serve their customers better. Okay. Um, the tools required to serve your customer is, is our CRM. That's what we built. So, you know, as you've said, the, the pandemic's been brutal for the travel industry and, and startups particularly. How do you, you know, what is your strategy for growth? So, um, thank God, Touchwood, we have a huge demand of customers who have seen our product, but uh, we are taking a very strategic approach. Um, we will be launching our, uh, in, in phases, and we're onboarding uh, constituents from different parts. We'll have travel agencies, some corporate clients, some major university clients where we could launch this booking engine for them exclusively. Uh, we are battle testing it, making sure millions of users could log on and the system has all the strength okay. uh, and soups it has mm -hmm. to, to run on smoothly. Um, we were taking the market as uh, any uh, cautious entrepreneur would take it. We don't want to open the floodgates and then same 
mess. A uh, majority of promise has been broken by the tech innovation in the last five years. And the rest. Yes. And the rest, yes. <laughs> now, if you and I were to sit down in yeah. a year, where would you, where do you think that Zen is going to be? Um, as I said before, <laughs> um, we would love to be a main sponsor of uh, Focusrite. Uh, Zenny will be uh, the name uh, in every travel agency. They either they have heard of it or a customer who have used it and they got the best experience out of it. Zenny will, will start ringing its name everywhere. And why do you think something like this hasn't been done before? Uh, nobody has bought uh, buyer sellers and the major pain points of industry in, in single umbrella of uh, uh, operating system. Everybody took the piecemeal approach. So payments guys would go and solve the pain points and payments, payments and travel. You would say, oh, hospitality, suppliers and travel. So everyone built the centralized approach, centralized system, and those solutions are talking to each other now, but it's a web and chaos. Um, they are not efficiently talking to each other. Um, and blockchain is a big, big, big uh, driver yeah. who could create a single source of truth for every transaction happens online. So we basically took the web 3.0 strategy build the economy, the built the entire product, grounds up, making sure that we cover all the scalable approach and allow all the players to uh, manage, sell, and promote their, uh, their products. Okay, now just to finish up here, is, is there anything that you would take from your previous professional life that you would apply to travel? Um, three major things. Uh, when you're looking at market, uh, you want to, or, or uh, I would say pain points, of the market, if you're solving a challenge, you try to see where that challenge is originated from. So I always go back to the history and, and, and in, in medical profession, the patient history is a very critical window to the problems mm -hmm. you currently have. Sure. Um, if you look at travel from 1950s, I mean, I'm not going far back to Thomas Cook, but if you look at it, the way it was built was for a completely different audience. The reasons, rationals were very different. And if you're trying to get a very small niche piece of action, that's what I call it, piece of action uh, innovation. That's what I say in travel. Okay. Those piece of action could become, um, cannot solve the problem in a holistic approach. That's what I would say. Look at the history, uh, solve the problem in, a, in the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. Don't take a piece of problem and just make money off of it. I okay. would say serve the customers. Okay, thank you Sachin. Thanks thank for you. joining us in the studio. Thank you, Linda.